Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If this is the first time you've seen my face, I would love it if you subscribed as I post videos every Thursday and every Sunday at 5pm. As you can see, I'm out and about today because exciting news, I will be doing a travel vlog. You all know how much I love travel on this channel and obviously I can't really be travelling internationally right now, which means I have decided to travel nationally or locally. So today I will be going into Glasgow and taking the train to Stirling and exploring Stirling for the day which is really exciting and hopefully I can show you some exciting bits around Stirling. So I'm just going to get a bus to go into Glasgow now and then I will get the train from Glasgow to Stirling and my first thing that I'm going to be doing is I've booked tickets to go to the Stirling Castle which is really exciting. I've never been to Stirling before and obviously I've never been to Stirling Castle. The castle unfortunately has reduced some of their like things that you can see due to the pandemic but they've also reduced their ticket prices to reflect this so as someone who is like a young adult you get different prices for different ages and I paid £14 for my young adult ticket and obviously they've reduced that because of the reduced things that you can see at the castle but I'm still really excited so I hope you're excited too and you can come along in this journey with me. I've got off the train now and I have arrived in Stirling. I'm quite hungry so I'm on my way to a place called Toast which says it's a seven minute walk from the station following Google Maps to go and get myself some lunch, brunch and I'm on this cool bridge above the station which is quite cool because it shows me all the views above the city. There's like clouds and fog on the horizon so I'm not sure how good the view from the castle is going to be. So the train from Glasgow to Stirling was about 35 minutes but you can get shorter ones that are about 25 minutes and I have a 16 to 25 rail card so my ticket was just over £5 but if you don't have a rail card I think it's about £8 for a single. I don't know why I didn't buy a return, that would have made more sense. The journey here was really easy. I went to the toilet at Queen Street Station and they normally charge money which I didn't have because I don't have any change on me at the minute but the barriers were open so if you're coming to Queen Street Station and you need the toilet just bear in mind that you might need to have some change on you. I feel like I was lucky that the barriers were open. Got my Google Maps on my phone and we're just gonna walk to go and get some brunch. I'm walking up to the castle now and it is all uphill. I'm so out of breath. If you're not driving, bring a pair of shoes that you're comfortable in because I think I might want to cry if I was wearing something that was uncomfortable. I'm wearing my docks today, so that's okay. Although the last part of the path has been like there's no pavement so I've kind of had to walk here where there's dog poo or on the road and there's like sharp turns so that's slightly concerning. I don't know if I've gone like the roadway but there's no pavement here. But my vegetarian bagel was good. It cost me 6 95 which I think is reasonable. It's not dirt cheap but I think it's reasonable. It just had aubergines, courgettes, cheese, salad, things like that on it. I think I can see it over there so I think I'll be there soon. My Fitbit says I've done 7,900 steps already and it's not even midday, it's three minutes to midday. And it also says I've done 45 minutes of active exercise, so. <sighs> I'm finally in the castle. I got a bit lost and I basically went the wrong way. So I had to backtrack and find a flight of stairs to go up. And now I am in the castle. It was really easy to pick up my tickets. I just scanned the QR code and put in my surname and then they printed out. I didn't even have to like be in close contact with anyone. So that was great. And look at these views. Wow, there are almost 360 degree views of the city from up here. This is incredible. You look closely there's that bridge above the train station where I was earlier so remember when I said I was lost and I couldn't figure out how to get up to the castle well I was down there and I couldn't figure out how to get up here <laughs> this is so pretty even on a cloudy day I can't even imagine how pretty it would be if there was like clear skies I feel like you could see for absolutely miles
So I've just come from the castle kitchens and it's done in a recreation to see how they would have looked back in the day or like what they think they look like back in the day, which I think is really cool. Lion, unicorn, unicorn, lion. you've just seen are the castle apartments I think which is like the king and the queen's apartments which were on opposite sides because back in the day they couldn't obviously share a bedroom so that was really cool and it's done all reconstructions some of the doors were original and obviously they had some like records to try and make it as accurate as possible and I think it was really cool the wooden heads that you just saw were the originals of the ones that were on the ceilings in one of the rooms as well finished walking through the castle. I was in there about two hours and I've done about 13,000 steps. This is what it looks like from the outside. So there's the engine there and there's my good pal Robert the Bruce. I'm just going to sit on this wall for five minutes because my feet are starting to really hurt. I'm going to sit here for five minutes and then maybe go to the museum if my feet feel better. Look at that behind me. I don't know what that is but it looks cool. So the castle was really good. I'd really recommend it and to be honest I couldn't even really tell what bits were like closed due to the pandemic and they said that they had a reduced price because of this so I'm happy with the deal I got. I think that you'd enjoy it obviously if you like castles but also like it's a lot of history and things and I like history so I learned things and I enjoyed that but if you don't really like old things in history then I don't know if it would be for you but I think you know that already. So I think I'm walking through the old town now and this is really pretty as well so I'm excited to get to the museum. The staff and the helpers at the castle were so nice and so lovely like I know it's their job but they were really lovely. There is the Sterling Old Town Jail if you fancy going there then here it is but I don't really think visiting a jail is my thing I'm in the museum now it started to rain outside so I couldn't really talk to you I'm also very thankful to have a big That is the museum that I was just in. It had free entry and there was a cafe inside. There have been toilets at Stirling Castle and the museum so I peed in both because sometimes when you're out now in the pandemic like there's not as many toilets as there used to be so that was something I was concerned about. I definitely recommend the museum especially because it's free. And I had benches which is what I desperately needed. My feet were so sore and it also had begun to rain so it was good to pop in and get out of the rain. I'm just going to slowly make my way back to the station and hop on a train home I think because I was going to go and check out the William Wallace monument but it's money to get in and also I don't know if my feet can take many more walking about. It's quarter past three and I've done 16,000 steps. I think that I can be proud of myself that I've done enough exploring today. Stirling kind of reminds me a bit of Edinburgh. I think it's because of all the grey buildings, obviously on a smaller scale. But I do think it reminds me of Edinburgh. So if you like Edinburgh, but you don't really like how busy and everything it is, I think that you would enjoy Stirling. But as I said, I'd never been here before and I never like Googled any images of it before. So it's been really cool to actually come and see it and explore more of my own country because I ashamedly have not seen enough of my own country. So now that this pandemic is hit and I can't internationally travel. I'm going to take it upon myself to do some more travel series, travel vlogs on this channel exploring Scotland. So let me know where you would like to see me go next down below. I'm thinking obviously Edinburgh, Dundee, Aberdeen, Inverness but if you've got any other suggestions let me know. I've had a really nice day today but I think I'm ready to go home and put my feet up. And just like that I am back home and my day trip out to Stirling is over. All the tourist attractions that Google sites were open apart from Argyle's lodging that was not open. So I hope this video has been helpful about travelling in a pandemic and what Stirling slash Scotland is like right now. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as I post videos every Thursday and every Sunday at 5pm. I'll see you guys then. Bye!